Happy Friday everyone, we've made it to the end of another week and with it brings another video blog. So today I'm going to talk about um, the new, actually there's not a lot of new studies about the science behind napping and why we really should make it a priority in our days to get a, at least a 10 to 20 minute nap in. Um, they're showing that, you know, 10 to 20 minutes will increase your energy and alertness and um, there's different different time frames to improve different things um, depending on how much time you have to dedicate to your nap during the day. So to, like I said, 10 to 20 minutes increases your energy and alertness. 30 minutes uh, will increase your creativity and memory. So if you have a job where you need to be creative, then taking a 30 minute nap can really help boost that. Um, between 30 and 60 minutes will increase your decision making. So I guess that's where the the saying comes from sleep on it, so maybe not sleep overnight, but sleep for 60 minutes and um, then think about the decision that you have to make. Pretty pretty good reason to take a nap, I think. And then 90 minutes um, will increase your creativity um, and also your emotional and procedural memory. Um, and 90 minutes is the one where we actually go through a full sleep cycle and we get into REM, which is rapid eye movement. Um, so you want to make sure that you're not really sleeping any longer than this because it'll it'll make you wake up groggy and really struggle to get through the day um, and to recover from your nap. So you ideally you should wake up um, alert and ready to go and um, recharge. But if that's not the case, um, maybe uh, tinker with the amount of time that you're spending taking a nap um, and go from there. Uh, and ideally you don't want to be sleeping too close to to bedtime or the evening because it'll make it hard to sleep and and really sleeping at night is more important than taking a nap so um, don't uh, get rid of your nighttime sleep to, to take a nap during the day as tempting as it may be and uh, a lot of companies are allowing naps now because um, they see the benefit the health benefits and the the benefit to, to their work their workers and how they work during the day um, to allow them to take a nap so, um, this week has been Friends and Family Week in the practice. Uh, we've had a pretty good response. Um, we've had some, some friends and family come in, which has been amazing. I've been, um, it's great to meet them all. Uh, and it's all been in celebration of my birthday, which is on tomorrow. Uh, and who wouldn't want to spend your birthday any other place than Big Sky Water Slides? So I'm pretty pumped to be going up to Columbia Falls this afternoon and um, hit up the water slides tomorrow. But uh, coming up in the practice, there is going to be a seminar on, it's called Works Like a Charm. It's going to be in September, so there's still quite a while um, until it, it comes to us. And it's going to be all about um, increasing work productivity. Um, I guess I'll be talking a little bit about napping. Um, but if you have anyone in your business or a business that you know that would could benefit from it, please let me know and I can give you some emails to, to send out to your colleagues or to send to the businesses um, to alert them to the event. Um, it's going to be at the practice. There will be some refreshments and things like that. So um, yeah, it's going to be September 16th. You might have got an email about it already. Um, and if not, there'll be one coming out soon. So um, here's to another week. Summer's flying by and it's nearly done, but um, hope you have a great and safe weekend. And I look forward to seeing you all soon.